and and I'm going to pull up a couple more uh, family photos here too because I I think that this is you know one of the things that we can do in our communities is look at ways where we can engage entire families through active mobility and active living and you know normalizing you know for for the entire family of getting on a bike and and it doesn't have to just be for recreation it but the more right. often that you and the more comfortable you get on a bike the the more that you're able to bleed this through and you had mentioned it earlier too for those people who are like living in these towns in these areas they can literally ride to the trailhead from their door yeah. from their house you know from their actual doorstep right yeah, and uh, what we're seeing now with uh, our Sagamore adaptive cycling trails. So they're they're built for the adaptive cycles, the three to four wheel cycles, which is great because up to this moment, we had zero miles for them. Now they have seven plus miles and bicyclists are obviously allowed on it too. And, and this trail footprint is allowing families to recreate together. And when I say families, I'm not talking mom and kids, I'm talking grandparents mom and kids and the grandparents are allowed because they exist and they're really cool they can do the pedal assist e-bicycles so the grandparents can hammer out seven miles without sweating it and they're riding with the grandkids that can do it as well and they're in one place where three generations can actively recreate together that's magic that's the secret sauce right there yeah if you're no, looking for it a, absolutely and i and i think that this also fits into that category of all ages and abilities because again as yeah. you mentioned all ages the grandparents can be doing this as well as because of the you know what we're seeing with the adaptive cycling here truly all abilities as well yeah. and now and and talk a little bit about the specifics of this type of trail because I think that this is a, a, a different footprint, a little bit wider in oh, yeah. the trail, correct? Oh yes, the uh, the true like green, well, we have white circle adaptive and green circle adaptive, and it's probably four feet wide. Okay. Because it, ha it has to be. Yeah. I mean, the, the bicycle, the tricycle, the quadcycle, the adaptive cycle is much wider, and if it isn't, it's not safe for them. Right. You know, and it, it was really, and I'd suggest anyone do it, is what, when you're developing a trail, ride with someone adaptive cycling and you can see a whole different world. Like, I mean, they don't have the ability to get out and turn themselves around. I was you just, know, gonna, it, think, I was know, just gonna say, I mean, the flow's gotta be a little bit different. Yeah. You can't just, you know, ah, we'll, we'll, we'll just bunny hop this and, you know, squeeze yeah, around that. I mean, yeah, you have to think yeah, about you that. Can't, you can't do switchbacks. You're gonna do roundabouts. We have a cycling roundabout, which is really cool. Right.